Hello everyone, I am Leonardo and this is the demonstration of Landscape Snow Auto Material Asset version 2. First, add the asset to your project. Then Import the third person character template and set the game mode to third person game mode. Open up the third person character and add the BPC foot component. Then add the begin play node to the event graph and drag and drop BPC footprint component. Now call the initializer function on begin play event and set the footprint master material to mm footprints and footprint alpha to human foot alpha and print normal to human print normal. Then add a custom event and name it foot L and I'll create another custom event for foot R. Call the footprint function in both of the event. Attach the character mesh into the mesh parameter. The socket name should be the name of the bone of the leg. Check is right foot to true on the event of the right foot. Set the trace length to 100. And we are done here. Now let's set up the animations. Open up the third person run animation. Now add the anim notify at a particular keyframe where the foot touches the ground. Add one notify for the right foot and another one for the left foot. Go to the animation blueprint and call those notify. But first, we have to set up the character. Find the blueprint initialize animation node and set up the reference to the player character. We will call this reference TPC, third person character.
all the two notify events. Now call the event that we created in the character blueprint. And we are done. The lag you see is because of my recording software. And the footprint system is done. If you go to the footprint texture, you will find that there are several footprint textures which is already given. We use green and red channel for both legs. In the red channel we will have footprint of the left foot and the green channel has the footprint of right foot. Initializer function has support for custom texture feed. So you can create your own texture and input it in these parameters. There are footprint controls that you can find in BP print decals. This is a decal blueprint which has several parameters like fade start delay and the duration of the footprint on the level. Feel free to play with it. Now let's implement another cool feature which is snowballs. I will call the left mouse button on character blueprint then spawn the actor. Search for BP snowball. Set up the transformation information for this spawn. And it's done. Now look at another very interesting part of this asset which is snow interactivity. It helps you create the effect of snow accumulating on a surface. To demonstrate this we need a static mesh actor. Set the M demo sphere material to this static mesh. This feature requires BP Snow Manager actor in the scene. As you see, 
When I drag this manager actor to the scene, there are snowfalls. And you can also see that snow are accumulating on the mesh. You can control the snowfall with a snowfall toggle parameter. Snow accumulation direction defines the direction the snow should accumulate. The snow accumulation offset determine how accumulated snow should blend with other material. Accumulation amount determine the amount of accumulation to the surface. Snow accumulation speed determine how fast the snow will accumulate. Toggle is no accumulation toggles this effect on or off. Now let's see at the actual material. Here we have two material function. One is for the base material and another is for the snow. For interactive functionality, there are few material parameter collections are needed like snow accumulation direction, snow accumulation offset and snow accumulation amount. We also need to blend material functions and connect it as shown. We also need to change the shading model to subsurface and check the use material attribute checkbox. And it's done. Here is one more thing in this asset. The wind particles. Drag and drop this wind particle to the scene. And now it's complete. I hope you guys like it. So, everyone, have a nice day. See you soon, and thanks for watching.